What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm starting my top 10 iOS 9 Cydia Tweaks series. So every once in a while, I'm gonna be updating you on 10 of the newest updated iOS 9 Cydia Tweaks, show you what's good in the jailbreak world. I know a lot of people are jailbreaking for the very first time, so I kinda of wanna walk you through the basics, show you what jailbreaking is all about, and really it's all about tweaking, making your device truly yours, personalizing it, and with this video, I'm gonna start you off with 10 new iOS 9 Cydia tweaks. Now, some of these have been updated from the older times. Some are brand new, so I just wanted to show you some of these. Overall, make your device truly yours. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, of course, to install these, you guys will need to jailbreak. That can be found up there, but most of these do require a source. So you can find that down below right there. Go ahead, click on that, get the full tweak list, some bonus tweaks, and get the sources for the tweaks we will be using. Most of these are free. There are a couple of paid ones, but they're well worth it. So the very first tweak I wanted to show you guys is the new one called Medusa. So what Medusa is, is it's basically a native split screen multitasking application for your device. So let's say I wanna jump into the app store, browse some applications, and I'm gonna quickly multitask to settings or any application. It's not just limited to default stock ones, you can actually split screen multitask with any application. Now in this view, you don't get a true split screen view. You just get an overlay, you know, quickly go to that app and go back to whatever you were doing over here. Oh, come on guys, okay. So that's in this view, but if you rotate your phone sideways, it's a completely different story. So you have to, of course, be in an app that's rotatable, but you can go over, move over, and now you've got that view and you can actually use slide over to go into any other app from here. So there are a couple bugs. It's not perfect. It doesn't always go into landscape mode, but with time, you know, it will get better. I just love that this is true multitasking. You can reposition as you like right here, just like on the iPads. So do your thing over here and over here, you know, and there you go. So there's the very first bug that I was able to show you guys. Anyways, but the fact that this is possible says a lot. Apple decided not to include it on the iPhones, probably gonna be pushing towards the seven with this feature. Uh, but anyways, it's really cool that you can do this. So split screen multitasking, it's a little buggy as you guys can see, but it will get better with time. So I definitely would recommend it. Play around with it. It is really cool. The fact that it is possible. Now next is BioProtect. So BioProtect is a familiar tweak for many, but it's just been updated for iOS 9 and the support is fantastic. It works great. So what does it do? Well, it helps you add security to your device. So if you want to lock up an application to prevent people from snooping on your private information, you can actually use BioProtect to lock up individual applications with Touch ID. You know, it's more useful than just that though. It's actually got several other features built into it as well. So it'll actually prevent the apps from being seen as you can see with BioProtect just like that. So there's no workaround for it. If you actually wanna turn your device off, uh, say this is a thief, he won't be able to without using BioProtect. So there's a screen, if you click cancel, it won't let you turn your device off. Really neat stuff. To get into the BioProtect settings, you also have to use your Touch ID. And there's a lot of settings in here. You can actually change the colors and the theme. I like this one right here, so I'm gonna set that one. And you can protect a lot in here. It's more than just applications. As you can see, there's actually a lot. So a lot of settings and controls can be adjusted and protected in here. But if you wanna select an application, go ahead and find it in here. Say you don't want people getting into your contacts or your photos. Now, when you try and get in, wherever they are right here, let's go ahead and jump right in. See that new theme I just applied and it won't let you in. Next is Apex 2. So hide applications easily behind other applications just like this. So slide up on an app and now you can add four uh, other applications behind it. So related, let's put Amazon in there and YouTube and Yelp down here. So now we can minimize the amount of space taken up on our home screen with Apex 2. You can actually change the look so they won't be popping out on the side of the app, but really cool. Now, depending on where the app is, you get a slightly different animation and just like this, so you'll have two sticking out over here. It's really cool. I mean, hide apps behind other apps. And in the settings over here, we can see that there are some adjustments in here. So how you wanna access the Apex 2 tweak, do you wanna swipe up, swipe down, or double tap to activate it? There's a lot of different things in here. Really cool stuff. Basically, minimize the amount of space on your home screen by hiding apps behind other apps. All right, so from the very beginning, you guys might have noticed something different about my home screen, and that's because I'm using Better 5 Icon home screen. It allows you to put five icons horizontally on your home screen, giving your device a slightly more packed look, but at the same time, you can fit a whole bunch of more icons onto one screen. This is also paired with better five icon dock down here. So together, these things make for a really interesting look on your home screen. There are no settings for it, 
in the settings uh, tweak page. This is actually one of my favorite Cydia tweaks. It makes your device instantly be recognizable as jailbroken. I mean, nobody else can do this. And it looks like an iPhone 6S is a 6S Plus just because it makes the screen feel a little bit bigger from the home screen. But really cool, better five icon home screen and better five icon dock. And this actually also ties in with better four by four folders. So basically get four by four folders just like you would on the iPad. And there's a little glitch right now where the icon actually covers up the uh, label of the other icon, but it does look very cool, especially when they fix that, it'll make for a great tweak, but pretty much get a whole bunch of more icons in one view like it should be on iOS 9. All right, so one of the coolest tweaks I will be showing you is called custom covers. It puts custom skins onto your thumbnails or the album art for your music in the music application. And this works for both your personal music and the actual Apple music. So. It actually looks really cool. This is just one of the many that are included, the themes, and I think it looks really cool. This is the CD uh, case, and there's a lot to choose from. So changes are instant in the settings. These are the themes you're looking at. So uh, let's go ahead and see the vinyl. Go back here and continue skipping. And as you see, it will change. So really cool. And this works just the same from the lock screen. Uh, there's ripped, ripped looks really cool as well. So as you guys can see, it looks really natural. It actually looks like that was what the album art was. Really cool stuff. And let me show you a couple other ones. So the circle, it just crops it like that, which I don't really like. Insert looks pretty cool as well. So like a little scrapbook faded. So it just fades the album artwork, but really cool stuff. And this tweak I really like paired with wave flow. So it actually puts a visualizer for music right onto your display. It is so cool. So as you can see, it's just built in. It works very well with custom covers. And I really like the integration of this tweak. So really awesome stuff. Really cool. So let me go ahead and show you the settings. There are quite a bit for Waveflow. So you actually have several methods to visualize the music. So I have the bar selected right now, but this is the default one right here, I believe the wave. So when we go back and I press play, this is what you'll see. It's a little bit too much for my taste, uh, but let's go ahead and see what the other ones offer. Rolling, really good stuff. I like this one. I like the bars and I don't know what this one is. Let's see. Yeah, so this one's pretty cool as well. Now my personal favorite are bars and set the height over here to 80. So max height is 0.8. And then you can actually change a lot of other settings in here, but it's really cool to see a visualizer on your music just like that. Looks really cool. And the fade, put it to 0.25 because at default it's 0.5 and it covers it up too much. So I believe that's right here. And it was really cool stuff. Wave flow and custom covers make your music application look really cool. So next is one we're also familiar with. It's called Lock Glyph. It's just been updated for iOS 9 and it pretty much puts a really nice animation from Apple Pay onto your lock screen when unlock your device and it's highly customizable. So what I like about it is that it's very subtle. It matches the look of the home button right here. So it's really cool. And you can actually position it how you want it to sit, but Pretty much, let me get a closer look of that. Just uh, add a nice animation when unlocking your device, just like that. And it has a sound and a vibration as well. In these settings, you can look at the behavior, appearance, and the animations. So let's go ahead and look at the appearance. These are the colors I personally like. I like dark gray and then that slightly magenta looking color. Very simple little tweak, pretty much just add an animation to your lock screen when unlocking your device. All right, so a very small yet annoying feature in iOS 8 and iOS 9 is when you take a picture, by default, that picture, when you delete it, doesn't get deleted for the longest time. I believe it's about 30 days. So if I want to delete this picture right here, you can actually get an option to permanently delete with delete forever. So it adds this option right here to permanently delete the photo. So instead of having it go into the recently deleted folder, it automatically deletes and you don't have to worry about anyone finding that later, whatever it was. And the last tweak I'd like to share with you guys is Quick Shoot Pro. So pretty much take pictures very quickly without needing to open up the camera application just like this. So just double tap on the camera icon, you'll get that animation, you'll hear the picture being taken, and there you go, you've taken a picture very quickly. And to actually record video using Quick Shoot Pro, you actually have to triple tap. So instead of double tap, one, two, three, and it starts recording video. Now, the interesting thing is that you can actually set a different icon to do the same function. So if I jump into the actual settings over here, you actually have an option to choose icons. So I chose Instagram. Now when I go to double tap on Instagram, it'll take a picture from within this app. 
Really interesting. I mean, I don't see why. I guess a secret way to take pictures so it's not as suspicious. So Quick Shoot Pro, take pictures very quickly from the actual icon. So that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to show you the top 10 new tweaks for iOS 9, updated old ones and new ones as well. Hope you enjoyed. And actually wanted to mention something as well. So a lot of people are having issues with the jailbreak. So first off, the first thing I want you to do to help your jailbreak experience is go into Cydia. If you haven't recently updated, there's actually a Cydia substrate update that you want to get to right away. So if you see any updates in here, go ahead and install them. A lot of people are getting the issue where they're not seeing the tweaks appear in Cydia or Cydia is crashing. So pretty much if you can't get Cydia to open, turn your device off and hold the volume up button and then power it on just like this. Then you'll start up without Cydia Substrate being activated go into Cydia, install any updates, remove any tweaks that may have interfered with your device and you should be good. I know the jailbreak experience isn't the best right now. You know, things are buggy, things are crashing, but it does get better with time. We'll be seeing more and more updates and things will just start feeling better and smoother. All the tweaks will get updated. It takes a couple weeks. So if you're an early adopter of the jailbreak, I know you guys are suffering, but give it a little bit of time. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed these latest tweaks, guys. If you had any issues, let me know down below in the description. And if you guys have any other awesome tweaks you want to recommend leave them down below as well thanks so much for watching have a great day enjoy all of these latest tweaks and be sure to check out some of my other city at tweak videos peace